Can you bring it on? Yeah, so we are excited today to have a special guest. Johnny Gates is here. He's a contestant on The Voice. So we're going to switch gears from politics and news to a little bit of lifestyle. So yeah, we're switching things up. So I'd like to introduce Johnny Gates here. He's a West Warwick native. Johnny, how you doing? Molly, what's up, Ari? Good to see you. So come so on in. Cool, right on. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining us. So you are in town, a West Warwick native, uh, but you live out in we saw the debut last night on The Voice. It finally happened. Um, I've been waiting a little bit for this thing to finally air. And I know a lot of my friends and family have been like waiting for it to air. We don't know what episode we're on. So like we're all just kind of sitting on the couch waiting. And um, it finally happened. And everybody got to, to see the performance. And I, th I think it went OK. So You did fantastic. You had a couple chair turns and you decided to join Team Gwen. What was that like to be out there on stage and then to see these famous musicians turn around for you. I mean, it was crazy, like, walking out on that stage and knowing, like, Adam Levine's sitting right there, Gwen Stefani's right there. And then, um, starting to sing, and, like, a chair didn't really turn around for the first, like, 15 to 20 yeah. seconds, so I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and then, um, as soon as Gwen turned around, I was just like, ah, oh. like, because she looked beautiful, you know? And, um, I don't know, I had this really, like, calming feeling. And then I looked at my parents, and I could kind of see them, and I just, I'm like, I'm gonna finish this out like it's a regular show. And, um, it was cool. I mean, I got to hug Gwen. I got to, <laughs> Not I, got bad. To, I got to talk to Alicia Keys. I got like Blake said he was like a fan. So it was a uh, yeah. It was probably like the greatest night of my life. So yeah. that's so phenomenal. Yeah, and and Blake Shelton compared you to Mick Jagger. I mean, what is that like? What a compliment. It, that was wild. Like I, I think you can even see my reaction. I'm just like, how is You're this like, happening? Oh. <laughs> and it like happened again because they leaked out the video that uh, yesterday morning, and I didn't know that was happening. So my phone was literally rumbling. Like it woke me up because of all the texts. And it was like, dude, you're like, the video leaked, it leaked. And the headline was like, why Blake Shelton is comparing this artist to Mick Jagger. And I was just like, how is this my life right now? And um, yeah, I've rewatched it a few times. So. I've watched it a few times yeah. too in preparation of talking to you. Been excited, looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, you've gotten a ton of compliments. And this, is, but this isn't your first real gig. I mean, you chose a great song, Maggie May. And why did you choose that song? I'm a huge Rod Stewart fan, but um, so my well, a my mom's obsessed with Rod Stewart. Okay. So and she's watching right now, and she knows. Hi, mom. Hey, mom. I know you're obsessed with Rod Stewart. So, <laughs> um, but also, me and my band had the opportunity to go on tour with Rod, and we were out with him for like two weeks, two to three weeks, um, a couple summers ago. No. And we were playing like arenas with him, and um. I got to hear that song every night in arenas, and like they were singing it back to him. And um, I don't know. I kind of want to see if I could be like the opener, and trying to trying to be the headliner. So that's why I went with Maggie May. And and a phenomenal performance. And and like you said, so it's not really your first. This isn't your first rodeo. Oddly enough, I mean, I've been playing music for 13 years. Me and my band. We started in Providence. Like we used to play at the living room when it was still there. That was our first ever show. Um, the Met, we've done Lupo's a couple times. So um, we were a Providence band for a few years. Then we moved to Nashville. We ended up getting a major record deal down there. So like, now, then we're like, you know, popping champagne, yeah. like, thinking, <laughs> thinking our dreams happening. Um, but then like fast forward a couple years, like it just wasn't, we weren't really putting a record out and it was just, yeah. we, were, we were starting to change as a band and we knew that we needed to do something about it. So we left our label and then um, we decided to move to Los Angeles. So that's where I'm currently residing and just bouncing around Hollywood trying to do my thing. And I like that you said you live in LA and the producers were talking to you, you're like, do you want it to be LA? Do you want to represent LA? Or do you want to represent your home? And you went with Rhode Island. Yeah. So you, I, well, why? How come? I had to represent Rhode Island. I mean, I'm born and raised in West Warwick. Um, I grew up like in the Natick section. Um, I went to Bishop Hendrickson for high school. Like I'm, I'm a Rhode Islander. I come back all the time to get my clam cakes, you know, <laughs> and, to, and to hit up, up Narragansett. What's your favorite place to get a clam cake? Who I mean, Iggy's is awesome. Um, Aunt Carrie's is amazing. George's. Just give me a clam cake and I'm happy. Perfect. And, um, yeah, Stuffy's. Don't have Stuffy's. Oh, guy. my goodness. Yeah, I, I kind of love clam cakes. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Do you think you're going to be representing Rhode Island, giving a little shout-outs to Rhode Island? Like, how do you how do you suppose you'll do that on The Voice? Um, definitely trying to do as much of this as possible. Yeah. I want to literally, like, just set my iPod up, my iPad, and just, like, Skype as much as possible and just cool. keep in touch with everybody. So if we could even do more of this. Cool. Um, we love it. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like I'm meeting so many great people through this. Um, and Rhode Islanders have been supporting my, my band and stuff for, like, the forever, you know? And, like, we play shows and people come out. So, um, and Billy rocked it last season. Yeah, Billy board. Gilman, you did he amazing. He made it to the finale, too, which, like, is blowing my... I've been through, like, one round and, like, a mess, you know? So, like, I don't even know how he made it that far. But, um, and he's reached out a couple times. My... Oh, that's phenomenal. Yeah, my dad works at the gas company with Billy's uncle. 
So like, they kind of put us in touch. <laughs> so Rhode Island. It's very Rhode Island. And um, so Billy's been like, yo, good luck, man. And like we texted yesterday. So it's been cool. And do you feel like there really is a community with people on The Voice? You were saying you, you've gotten really close to other contestants. So there's competition, <clears throat> but you're becoming friends and doing more than just hanging out. Totally. Um, that was the last thing I expected to, to walk away from this with was um, like best friends. You know, it really becomes a family because like, I mean, we're working on our songs, but there's some downtime. Like, we're all kind of hanging out at a hotel together um, in L.A., which is awesome. <laughs> it's like a like a television show, a soap opera. Like real but, um, world meets the voice. Totally, of. yeah. And so, like, everybody's like an amazing singer and cool songwriter. So finally, like, once we all started to get to know each other, we're like, let's write some music together. So, um, yeah, there's there's been, like, voice songs. And um, one of the contestants um, was, was even pregnant. And, like, wow during the blinds and so we're calling that like our voice baby the so, voice baby yeah so we've become like literally best friends um we're in group text together and like when when somebody's blind audition is on it's like we're just as excited as, at, like as if it was us so and you said you've been collaborating with each other writing songs writing music that has to be pretty cool it's been awesome um living in nashville for so long like i was totally in that songwriter community and i feel so at home in that community so as soon as we were in the hotel room, just kind of hanging out, and like there's always a guitar around, so we're like, let's just start writing, and then then we would start planning like, all right, we we should do like a duo, and then like we've already have like so many tours planned, like everybody <laughs> on the awesome. show, yeah. So look out this summer for the for those like endless tours that we have planned. The endless tours. Yeah. So what what can we expect for you performances mm -hmm. on The Voice? Can what do we what can we hope to sing? Because The Voice brings in some amazing people and collaborations like you're working with Gwen Stefani. How cool yeah. is that? It's wild. I mean, I look up to her just as I mean, she's in no doubt, you know, and like I think we all grew up listening to her band. And we're talking spider webs, you know, yeah. sixth and seventh grade who wasn't rocking like, out. And so the fact that she was able to kind of come from a garage like ska punk scene very similar to like the Rhode Island scene that I kind of came up in yeah. and um, turn that into a successful band's career and a cool solo career. So I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to be on her team. And for me as a vocalist, um, I want to try to take some interesting song choices and make them my own. Like last night was cool. special because Maggie Mae is a song that's close to my heart because we were on the road with Rod. But um, I'm thinking about taking some chances on some songs. Like that, that's, I've, I've, got some, uh, I've got some songs up my sleeve. So, oh, okay. Yeah, put it that way. Okay, so you can't give too much away, <laughs> but if you, if you could collaborate with any famous musician, just if you had a choice, <clears throat> who do you think that would be? All right, if I had a choice to collaborate with anybody, it's tough because there's definitely a few. I mean, there's like a lot. But um, I'm such a huge Ryan Adams fan. Oh, um, totally. He's probably my favorite singer-songwriter. And um, every album he puts out, I'm just obsessed with. And um, to be able to to sit down and write a song with him and just like be in the studio and throughout that process and um, touring would be incredible. But uh, yeah, I'd have to say out of everybody, I'm, I'm, I mean, like I'm a, I'm a super fan of uh, Ryan Adams. So. All right. So maybe he'll, maybe he'll watch The Voice. Tune in. Because, I mean, you've had people, not only Blake Shelton and the people with The Voice, but Deborah Messing tweeted about I know, you she last tweeted night. Out. I know. And it's like, like I, forget, I think it was like my Nana was like, Johnny, do you want that? I'm like, hang on. I'm like, I'm texting Deborah Messing right now. Like, <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. I was just like, this is wild. But, so uh, a lot of community support and a lot of Rhode Islanders are behind you rooting for you. And you are taking off tomorrow. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. out of Boston. So um, I wanted to make sure I wanted to come hang with you guys and, and, and reach out to as many Rhode Islanders as possible and just say, like, thank you for tuning in. I mean, like, my Twitter has been going crazy. It's, like, nonstop. And honestly, it's, like, it's so many Rhode Islanders just, just reaching out just to say, like, congrats. And it's been nothing but love. And it's been it's, – it's after 13 years of, of trying to hustle in the music industry, um, it, it's cool to kind of have a day like today. Great. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it and love seeing you. I know we're definitely sharing the video and watching it. Totally. Uh, and, and what a cool feeling. And definitely know you have some Rhode Island support behind you. So good luck in the coming weeks. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing about those other collaborations that you have coming totally. up. Totally. So yeah. we'll keep in touch. All right. Awesome. So Johnny Gates is on The Voice. You can check him out. He's